Grudge sound. You had to be the rat stick, didn't you? <laughs> you had to open up your mouth. <laughs> Don't... You had to be the rat stick, didn't you? Oh, your friends are all passed out. <laughs> See, all that's worse knowing that the rat is a dead rat on a stick. Yeah. That song has, like, gross connotations if you sing it that way. Uh, who was that again? I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't know that song? I don't- I might, it's but- It's like parents' music. <laughs> which means someone feels old now in the audience. Dude, most of our music is parents' music already. Like, yeah. both of us are old enough to be parents. Isn't that fucking scary? Do you even recognize the song at all? No. I mean, you had to be the big shot, didn't ya? You had to open up your mouth. I, from what, it sounds like a 90s song. It's not, is it a 90s song? That's not our parents' music. It, I mean, you don't have music taste in the 90s. I was listening to like, the Backstreet Boys the because I was like, I Ew. found music that's just for me, not you. Dude, you're like uh, Bobby Hill from the episode of King of the Hill where he likes the Backstreet, basically a Backstreet <laughs> Boys parody. And Hank supports him because he thinks that they're like really well to do kids, and then they go on stage and they all like strip their clothes off and horrify Hank as he's just in the toilet. <laughs> They'll strip their clothes off. Well, yeah, because 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 boy bands are what's edgy in the nineties. Well, because you know boy bands always start out with like the harmonics at the beginning, and then, and then like the, the yeah. fireworks go off and the smoke comes out, and they like rip their clothes off, and they're all wearing like BDSM gear underneath and doing like sexual dances for yeah, underage no, I, girls. I still remember more Backstreet Boys than I want to. <clears throat> Honestly, even back in the day, I couldn't get in sync and Backstreet Boys. Like, I wasn't I was not a fan of either. Hello. Okay, it was yellow 20. It's time to get the note. Note book. Handy ah. dandy note book. Do, 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 do. What's the next page I haven't used yet? How goodbye Silent Hill Origins, you're dead to me. That one used a whole page. Oh. <laughs> wow. A busy, that was a busy game of notes for for like, only 7 episodes long. Uh, but it's a rule of rose. I, I spelled it R-O-E-S. Shit. Good, good start. I have to fix it. Someone will see it one day, maybe. There. When you're dead. It's invisible now. You can't tell I wrote over it in pen with another. <laughs> I'm fucked. I, when, right. when, when Keats Birds. dies of mysterious circumstances, we'll find his notebook and someone's going to look at it and be like, this fool spelled rose wrong. Let's all make fun of him now well, that he's dead. Yeah. I'm gonna put it on his epitaph. Do you want me to hold the notebook for you? It's perfectly balanced, as all things should be. <laughs> on your knee. <laughs> it just yeah. doesn't seem The place practical. where you always hear the k-tunk as I drop controllers from it. <laughs> Where's the... I hear a bird. Not that that matters. Tweet tweet. Tweet tweet. It's gonna be a Not scary that that matters. child. Our goal is to find no, a bird. No, it's gonna be another scary child. Ooh. A land sketch. What does that mean? Oh, it's a sketch of land. Most people call those maps. <laughs> land of the birds, population, population 834. 834. That doesn't seem like, in the grand scheme of things, that doesn't seem like enough birds, but I don't know how big that stretch of land is, so I'm not population sure. Population 834. Wow. I mean, that looks like a small... They counted every bird? There's like five trees. That's a small island. <laughs> Then that's a lot of birds, then. <laughs> Where are they all hanging out? There's only five trees. Creepy box. I think the latch is on the front. Oh, is it? There's a box labeled land. Uh. You could try 16. Wait, 834. Wait, why 834? Because it's three digits. Oh, because of the amount of. Oh, yeah. And the it amount works. of birds on the land, I get it. Oh. oh, it's the smaller and smaller boxes from the story. Oh no! It's gonna be a dead I hate bird it, inside. I hate it. Torn diet chart. <laughs> no. Birdie Town Mare's diet chart. Wait. <laughs> part of it has been torn off. And kilograms of weight is on the left There's hand side. There's a mayor side. of Birdie Town and he's on a diet? <laughs> This well, world building. <laughs> well, no, it looks like he's getting fatter. Oh, no. That's, I'm assuming the bottom line is probably going to be time, and the top line is weight, because kilograms. Yeah. So, it looks like he's getting dangerously big for... There's a red line, which means danger. Or just they ran out of crayon. Did they overfeed this bird until it died? Maybe cause... a bully took that, that the crayon away. There's a box labeled village. Oh, yeah, you'll find the village number now. Wow. And it's also three digits. 
now we have context finally. It just took an entire episode break. <laughs> but you <laughs> it's the next day now. But you know, uh that bird we already know the bird's gonna be dead inside. They already told us the end of the story. Yeah. I'm not very excited about opening this box. <laughs> no. But our grim work must be done. This fine eve. So okay, so the bluebird. Yeah. Well, okay. So we still don't know the relevance of the blue sixteen. There was a yellow one that had a number, but we yeah, didn't. I forgot uh, what that number was already. Uh, There's a red one right there. Red fifty-five. Oh, it's probably no. I was gonna say there's no way it's gonna add up to eight hundred thirty-four because that would make a lot of sense. Unless it adds up to the amount of uh, birds in the village. Which Not it unless could. we have a lot more birds to find. Ah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> if I grab it with my foot, will you still use this pen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, purple. Serious question. <laughs> it's purple 30s. So you can get it faster. Get well, better monkey feet. You didn't give me permission to touch it with my foot. <laughs> yeah. Purple 37. Did you hear about all the, um, there's a lot of a, a very large landslide of animals very recently got removed from the endangered species list because they were declared extinct. That sentence sent me on a roller coaster because I thought there was a landslide of animals somehow. <laughs> and I was really A landslide of dead really animals. confused. Oh. Like, they piled them all up on one ledge <laughs> until it came out. <laughs> no, but one of the ones that is, is really notable is, uh, although I forget the, the exact name, it's the woodpecker that inspired Woody the woodpecker. And a lot of it's people are, extinct now. are really dis- well, I mean, all these animals are considered extinct. There is a very, very, very small possibility that maybe years from now, someone will find, like, a single one somewhere. Mm -hmm. But what's heartbreaking about this is that people- this bird is so beautiful. And people are so touched by it that they're actively searching for it. And they have been for a very long time. They'll go in, like, parties to go try mm. to find this, this, this bird. And the bird's supposed to be so beautiful that it has a nickname, something like, like, the Dear God Bird or the Oh God Bird. Because you're supposed to exclaim that when you see it. Uh, something like that. But yeah, people... So it's like it's been that rare for that long at this point? Well, no, no, no. Like no, it's because it's so beautiful that you'd say that. Oh. Oh, but, 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 so it was always called that. But it's just, it's been a little, it's been a few years, probably like a decade, maybe like a decade, where it's been dwindling, so people like go out in parties just to see it. Well, you know, people chose NFTs. <laughs> people chose a lot of things. <laughs> including NFTs, yes. <laughs> it's just NFTs is the dumbest one on the entire list. Yeah, what there's a stupid no, thing, no like, what a stupid to hill it. to die on. It's it's valued to nothing and no one. It, it, it helps society in no ways. It's just a weird grifter market. It's yeah. like the stock market, but somehow dumber. Well, as a person that cares about the environment and a person who cares about, like, the, the dignity of art, I think that that is such a shameful thing. <laughs> NFTs are disgusting to me. The idea that it, it was so ever selfish. about art just went out so fast because now everyone's just putting together fucking like character generators and that's like the art now or I think Logan Paul or Jake Paul well, or I think whoever the fuck was like just opening Pokemon booster packs and making NFTs out of the booster packs he opened like that pack was an NFT and it's like what the fuck does that even mean I own that one oh is that a wolf mask no that's a blanket okay <laughs> I don't, did you see it? Yeah, I do. The eye and the nose. I, I do, but that's very strange that you saw that so instantly. You saw it too. Though. I saw it only when it was when it was presented to me. I mean, I'm I'm expecting fairy tale shit to happen, so it's like, oh, okay. At some point, I'm expecting, unless the British don't have it or the Japanese version of the British don't have it, uh, <laughs> I'm assuming I'm assuming there's a Red Riding Hood story coming. You know, I, like, don't... I mean, I, I assumed that the moment we walked alone through the woods in the first episode. <laughs> I have to look into it, but did you know, so? Did you know that you probably don't know this, but that that terry cloth that I have on our shared shelf in the bathroom has a bunch of pictures that represent different Japanese fairy tales on it. Yeah, and I got it from my my brother's foreign exchange student. The one that's under the incredibly charming uh, train station. It's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a Mrs. Potter's painting <laughs> with a bunch of little anthropomorphic animals and little dresses. But uh, I have a weird sense of of. of decorating obviously those two things don't go together at all but i think they have a version of the little three little pigs oh thanks for translating i did not get that that was a 45 
I would have gotten that, but that's because my handwriting is <laughs> shitty. I was like, wait, what the fuck is that symbol? It's because it's rotated enough that I thought it was like a hieroglyph. What, what, what would you think it said, if not uh, 45? Breast Cancer Awareness 5. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I see that too. Because <laughs> it's a... It's a ribbon. I've played a lot of like Swedish folklore games and shit, so I'm used to seeing like glyphs that I have to just like remember. Runes? Yeah. yeah. It looks like a rune. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> no, but I think the, uh, no, like I said, I, I think that there's a, I think the Three Little Pigs is actually Japanese. Is it? I'm only guessing because there's a picture on there that looks very distinctly like it is the Three Little Pigs. It's just like an incredibly warped version of, uh, hmm, nope. I think Journey to the West is Chinese. Journey to the West is Chinese. Yeah. Sun Wukong. Bird noise? Have I been here? Where am I? <laughs> See, I like- Wait, this is new, right? What, uh, Wait, is it? It's a biscuit. Oh, yeah, I guess. A scone. Yeah, get it right. It's like a biscuit, basically. <laughs> well, biscuit to them is cookie. Yeah, so it's really- A so scone's more like a biscuit to us. It's the whistle child. Is that the bird? Do we capture that? Push her off. <clears throat> do it, do it, do it. Why won't the birdie fly to me? Why does it have to be you? Stay away, I said, stay away. Now it bothers me I don't know what band that was. What? You're what? supposed to know all about more music than me. I, I do Why in general. Why don't you know my parents' music better than me? <laughs> I know good music. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'm sure that song's probably good. I just don't know if I recognize it off the top of my head. <laughs> no, they're coming for me. What the fuck is this place? Why am I here? Ow, stop it, birds. Ow, stop it. They just look, look like emus. They have such long range weapons, the dicks. What? That's. Come on. I don't see. Th me. I think those are made of cardboard. I don't know how those would really hurt you. It's metaphorical violence. <laughs> it's because you're Still a little enough wuss. To get... Oh, fuck, I'm about to die. Jesus, they're decking the shit out of me now that I'm not just in a single room where I run around them a lot. You can eat your scone. Oh, it's, it's Billy Joel. Billy I looked Joel. it up for you. <laughs> Billy, I, I love Green Day. <laughs> you know, uh... Oh, it's a super one. Oh, God, it's like it got a T-Rex head and spikes. <laughs> Billy Joel is excellent, so you are correct. I should have known. <laughs> yeah, that's Hello. a really big one. How many yeah, how many a... little guys do you think are in there to when make do that I operate? A, when do I get a gun? <laughs> I need a gun. <laughs> I like how it's, there, it's still not established. just went through me! It's still not established what these are. Like, what are these things? Little mummy. They're birds. Oh, of course they are. Duh. Silly That's me. It's the kid chapter. Or the kid there. The, ah! Oh, you did you die! I genuinely can't win in this room. I'm going to lose. I need to leave. Yeah, you're, Fuck. Oh, yeah, you're <laughs> fucked now. You better... Oh my god, she moves so slow when she gets hurt. Uh, if it, down the stairs, apparently, she just trots a little bit. Yeah. I mean, they can't make more animations for every scenario. Oh, no. I think I'm no. out of healing items because I threw a lot of them away. It's a biscuit tin. Help. Dog. Dog. Doggy. Oh, she can't find one. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I'm going to have to limp all the way back to the trash can and eat out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Is your dog limping also? No. Nah. He seems to just shake it off, but I don't have that healing factor. Well, but I mean, like I said, I, I have a... I would prefer you to be hurt than the dog to be hurt. How the fuck do you survive the room? Oh, wait, I was supposed to... I should have been using my pipe. Oh, yeah! Why do my weapons keep getting unequipped? You know what? That is true. It did get unequipped without you realizing it. Oh, that, that changes a lot of things. This It would have helped. <laughs> yeah, because that's, that's a long-range weapon for those long-range enemies. Yeah, but that room's just fucked. <laughs> it's completely filled with enemies, and they're way more dangerous than before. This is like a light that fell down? Yeah, I guess I think it just is. It does look like an item, though. Very misleading. Please just heal? <laughs> This is gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna just suck. I am basically back to wandering aimlessly. I think I just need to find all the puzzle components. I'm, I think I am locked in this like 
hashtag shaped area. Do I have blue written down already? Yeah. You got blue, purple, green, yellow, red. I honestly don't know where I am most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> in this game or just in the real life? Well, I mean, like, I'm, I'm in this episode, I'm walking around this one area, and it's like... I want to be thorough, but also I completely lose... Tr I get turned around every time I go into a room or anything. Understandably, they didn't make uh, the areas distinct enough. No. I have it's... a hard time, even with games where I feel like it's much more distinct. Yeah, this area is, like, symmetrical, but... Can't tell, like, the sides apart. We already went into room 26. That was the room where with the boxes. Yeah. I'm wondering if we have the solution or not. Do you think you just add those together? Maybe. That'd be like everyone in Let the village. See. In the village. Are you getting your calculator out? Yeah. Good I don't job. have time for this shit. <laughs> is you, is it, see, I can, y'all can't read your handwriting, Keith. This is 30, 37 for <laughs> well, purple. Well, guess what? I can read my handwriting, so we're, we're saved. <laughs> we're saved for me. 16 plus 55 plus 37 plus 12. Plus 45. We found five different things. 165. Let's find out, shall we? I hope this biscuit's inside. I'm starving. Well, it's gonna be a dead bird. I don't know if you can eat that. I will. <laughs> nope. Oh, wait. Yep. 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 No. Yep. Yep. No. Nope. It just shook violently. Yeah, it just shook last time, too, but this time it made like a clack clack noise that means it's not going anywhere. Huh. I wonder if. We're not missing a color, are we? Red feather. Oh yeah, find the diet chart. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's no like secret uh, numbers on this one that I can see. But apparently you can check the diet chart to find the king of the birds village. And then when I, when I find the mayor... The mayor of the bird the town. The mayor of bird town. Then I'll know all the answers to that bullshit. Is Bird the mayor of Birdtown? <laughs> yeah. Mayor Bird of Birdtown. We don't really have names here, or we do, but they're all Bird, pronounced differently. <laughs> a, a beard? 356 Bard. different uh, pronunciations of Bird. Beard? Carry me, dog. <laughs> Bired. One of these rooms, I think, was the room with a bucket in it, but I don't know which one. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you need the trash can? Well, they're usually together. The oh, bucket soldier in the trash. Because they're friends. And then I can heal. Oh, we're back in here again. Oh, uh, borg, 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 borg. I figured borg, this room borg, was going to be relevant borg, 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 for some borg. reason. Oh. Was this here before? A little sparkle on the ground? Yeah. I don't know. Diet chart. Part two. Uh, this, this morning's, morning's wait. Well, 124. 124 Maybe kilograms. that's the number, but I don't know why that would, like, why would that represent the number of birds in Bird Village, but it could be that. That's a fat-ass bird, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. It might just be... The I'm gonna look up the, how the, much that actually is. It might just mean the, uh, the mayor of the village? What are these symbols? It's like an arrow. It's like, like it looks like an wings, eight. And like, yeah, and like a crossed out eight. And what is the sheet for? I don't know what the sheet's for, but there's definitely like that that thing on the ground. I guess it is drawn on the ground. I thought maybe it was the symbol that it's represented. A, it's a symbol for homeless witches. Fly here for shelter. <clears throat> that thing was in kilograms, right? Yeah. That's a big bird. I think kilograms are more than pounds. Yeah, because it's a thousand pounds. Jeez. Or a thousand. Like, kilo, kilo means thousand. Well, it's a thousand grams. Oh, yeah, sorry. That's what I meant. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, but definitely not pounds. Dude, that fucking bird's 273 pounds. So two, it's 26. Ugh. That bird's bigger than an average adult. My character's just aging over the course of this mission, getting slower and older. It's just like the game, I almost said Journey, uh, The Path, one of the oldest, like, art games that people got annoyed at <laughs> being an art game. 
Hey, why did that make sense? Yeah, Who cares? It's the only number we have. Yeah, you just <laughs> see a number and you just go for it. Sketch piece. I regret going upstairs, but I don't know when my last Daddy save was. Daddy is smudge. Mummy is smudge. The rest <laughs> has been torn off. Family. Oh, maybe that's the number you want with all, all the all the birds together. I don't know. It seems like it'd be a number for one character and a number for another character. And I have five. But I have wait. five two-digit numbers, and I'll see how those would turn into a three-digit number for two different characters. Mm. Wait, wait, why do you think it's two different characters? M Daddy and mommy. Well, that might be. You should you should at least try the number you have because what is it? it's the bird family they're referring to, not your family, like your parents. What was my number? It's probably still on my calculator. 165. They are the same age. 165. Is it? There was a... I think I was in kindergarten. And I didn't have any concept for how long people lived. Really. Like a clacky. Yeah. Uh, so I wrote down just incredibly fantastical numbers for the ages of my mom and my dad. As being like incredibly old, but also nowhere near each other's ages, too. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm like, I don't know, you just sprung this question on me as a five-year-old. I've never thought about it before. <laughs> I feel, I, like, I feel bad because I, I look back on, like, like, me asking my little, my cute little baby cousin, like, how old he thought I was, and he said, 30? And I was just like, no! And now I am, like, almost 30. <laughs> so it's like, oh no. <laughs> I should ask him now and see what he says. Stupid, dumb baby, I'll never be 30. I'll uh, die before uh, I'm 30. Uh, 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 it, I just turned 28, so, so I can't join the 27 Club anymore. Uh, yeah, it's too late. Yeah, you've, I out, can't, you've outlived all of those people. I can't be a famous uh, musician anymore, guys. That's not, that's not the only... <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the only reason, guys. Well, you do need to start musicianing <laughs> at some point. No, I just was going to die that way. <laughs> I was going to die at 27, and then you just get... You just in the, the hall now, the hall of fame. Yeah, just, just, just some random person. <laughs> it's just me. I, just, I deserve to be there, too. Why did I hear a whistle? Is it is it the, that creepy little girl whistling for the bird again? Am I by that door? I don't know. Like the next one? Where the f what the fuck do I do in this chapter? <laughs> Where's my food? Somebody feed me. You can, can you? Mommy bird hungry. Can you use your? Is there any more biscuits on this level? Oh. Oh, the cafeteria. Feed. Oh, I think the cafeteria is where my thingies are. Where your food is? M the but the the garbage. And also maybe just a food in, in by itself. Help me. <gasps> so dramatic, Jennifer. Get your shit together. First time I'm gonna take something out of here. Uh, mince pie. And the lollipop. You should. Can you use the lollipop to find other lollipops first? You should definitely use the mince pie. Are those all my healing items that are left? Uh oh. Yes. That's not good. Bacon. Bacon is for the dog. Oh, that's dog. for the dog. Yeah. Why can't you eat the bacon? It's just bacon. <laughs> Martha's hat. This is just a bunch of random shit in here. That is not a lot to heal with. <coughs> I thought I'd been. Oh, that actually helped out. I thought I'd been picking up uh, biscuits and shit for days. See, you should you should have saved the lollipop to find more food. I couldn't use it for for. for oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. For finding. Yeah, I forgot. Sketch piece. Apparently, that's yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting to check this. That's it's not the it's that's the the second one you got, yeah. Yeah, it's the uh, the mom and dad one. It's okay. like whenever I'm not sure what to do with something, I should just see if it lets me uh, search with it. It's really sporadic about when it will let me do it, but it's worth checking. It's funny because because you instantly went to like ages for the parents. I just assumed it was like mom is, dad is, and it's like. 
well, angry, I went, I went, happy, I, I sad, went to, fat, mean, nice. I went to ages because Adjectives. the because uh, the numbers. Yeah, yeah it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Do, only, our only vector is numbers, and we don't have a lot of numbers for people. I just like I think my brain just went like, okay, this is like a kid's homework. Most kids don't know how old their parents are, like you were saying. So usually, like they'll ask them to say things, like to write words out, like things like. Nice. Kind. It's a, it's a good thing I got a new save, because now if I take too much damage, I can just give up. Because <laughs> I'm not not I'm not gonna play like that anymore. It sucks <laughs> so much to move that slow. Man, it just reminds me of all the times in like Fallout where I was over encumbered but I was so stubborn, I just was like, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna drop anything. I'm gonna fucking walk for two miles like this. I just played Fallout 1 and I played as a character with like three strength. And I also picked like small frame or something, which gave me more initiative, but lowered my uh, strength, like effective strength even more, basically. And so I uh, I couldn't carry items. <laughs> like my I, I had a carry limit of 70 and my metal armor was 35. <laughs> so half my entire quip load was just the armor I was wearing. A torn sketch. Mummy is... Da Daddy is, mommy is, plus daughter equals. The rest okay, is torn it off. is a math. <clears throat> so it is so a math. Daddy is orange. Or red. Which is not. Yeah. Red. Yeah, maybe it's red because we don't have an orange. Unless it's. It's red. Unless daddy is red times per times yellow. No, they're not going to do that. That is orange though, right? Like the color. Like in, the real color in this, is orange. In this yes, but in this situation, it's supposed to be red, I promise. Like they're not going to do that. So the so the so the birds we have so far are the math, but we need to know which ones are actually in the, the equation, and w which ones are just Uncle Greg, the loser. When are you gonna get a job, Greg? <laughs> Wait. Smoking isn't a character trait. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it it is technically. It's just, it's just not a compelling one. I meant to say smoking isn't a personality. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Look at that creepy girl just standing there like that. Don't do that, little girl. Hello. That's in it's Little Girl 101. Girl. Don't stand like that. And say nothing like that, little girl. I think they should teach class in, like, kindergarten. Teach kids not to be how not to be creepy. <laughs> That's... I graduated in, in Don't Be Creepy Kid class. I actually said... No! I sent my kid to the opposite one. The How to Be Creepy class. I really hope I don't have to beat everything in this room just to get to the sketch. Hopefully Roscoe will just keep going towards the sketch, and I can just go that way. Please. My little sister... <laughs> yeah, stop whistling. <laughs> Take the, her out. The bird hates it. You're, uh... You're appropriating his culture. <laughs> <laughs> In bird culture, this is considered a dick move. <laughs> <laughs> this is a ceremonial song, and you're insulting them. Oh! God! Fuck! They're, they're not even slow or anything, and there's so many of them. This is, oh, yeah, 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 this yeah, 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 yeah. This hurts to watch. This is, I, because it look, because it's so, it, ah. Uh, this isn't fair. It, it's, ah, it's not fair, it and it's painful. It takes ten years to stand up. You're never gonna make it. I'm gonna die You're such a little room. bitch. I was so happy I saved. Oh my gosh. Roscoe, yes, you did exactly what I hoped you would do. Just run through. <laughs> yes, yeah, is, is there a sketch in here? Ah! Why is it so hard to pick things up? Is there a sketch? He's barking. Do I have to beat this entire room? Is he on? No, he's on it. Oh, there it is. It's just really hard to pick up items. Like, really hard. Oh, that was maybe down the cavern. Okay, red plus green and yellow. Red, green, and yellow. Daddy, mommy, and daughter. Okay. Hey, those two colors don't make that color. I think somebody one of them- Somebody had a mailman incident. Yeah, somebody cheated on somebody. Uh, 55. No, honey. Yellow's yellow's recessive in my family. Twelve. Hundred and twelve. It is one hundred and twelve. I probably can still put the answer in, even if I die, which I will. You might as well. You, I, I almost mean, wonder okay, if you is, should... ra is damage random. I was so dead. I lost. I lost two entire health bars basically earlier. Well, and you... this time I got my ass beat, and I'm only like half dead. Yeah, but you were there longer last time. It just it was over a longer. You're coming period. down single file. Oh, wee, oh, wee. Huh. 
jukes. In all their I got jukes. No. Another bird in the wall. No. No. No, don't hit the dog. Look at how long range they are. Fuck me. Keith, I almost think it might be a better strat just to let yourself die. But I, I know, I have the answer. Yeah, but and maybe you're gonna be you're gonna be I'll, slow. Maybe I'll wake up next chapter healed. Oh wow! Maybe this is the final box. It's the box that never had sex. <laughs> because it's the end. All of the other the... slutty boxes that's got stabbed. Because it's because it's the end of the line box. It's the last one in the family lineage. <laughs> it's the final girl. Oh. Well. <laughs> final girl is always the virgin. Well, you know that was funny. In, it's all judgy. In that in that movie that I told you about, where the guy's trying to like make himself the next great killer, and he picks out his final girl because he wants to be like the next Michael Myers and whatnot. He fucks up because he picks out a girl that he thinks is a virgin, and then she ends up being <laughs> the biggest slut, and it ruins his whole plan because you can't have your final girl be the biggest slut. That's like always because because horror movies are judgy. Yeah. So like she ends up being like a total slut and like fucking everyone else that he put in the haunted house, and he's like, my plan's ruined. It's ruining everything. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I just control women? Yeah, the, the making of a serial killer. I for, I always heard the name of that movie, but it's very good. For anyone who likes horror movies, I always recommend it. Maybe I'll, maybe that's the movie. I'll, well, no, I was gonna say I have to recommend a horror movie for our family horror movie watching, but I don't. That one might be too serious. <laughs> it's it's hard finding one that appeals to everyone. It's a little, I am it's an a easy dark. sell on horror movies because I like. I like bad movies and good movies. <laughs> You're an easy sell for me because and that you, is a wide spectrum of horror. You <laughs> those two things like movie. You like good movies, so it's very easy for me to recommend to you a movie. Whereas we have people around us where it's like them saying a movie's bad is like a recommendation. <laughs> You're, oh man, I gotta watch that one now. Well, if it's too scary, it's out, which is like the opposite of the point. And then if it's too serious, <sighs> it's out. If it's too slow, it's out. It's not over. No. If it's too campy, it's out. Famous couple to divorce. July 1930. Grimes Daily and Elon Flamingo. Musk? Husband borrows 60 pounds from wife's 365 pound bank account. How many pounds are there? <laughs> They're famous. It doesn't seem like a lot of when money. When a train departs from Boston. <laughs> uh, so it's 305? Oh, the I have to unlock the rest of the math. Wait, what other math do you need? Ross, go find a biscuit, please. No. No, he's, he's like, I'm sorry, I can't help you. You're so disappointing, Roscoe. See, now I'm gonna look up how many, in 1930, yeah. <laughs> how many pounds is that? Because for a famous couple, it doesn't seem like a lot. Well, I mean, there was only like a thousand pounds in all of Britain in 1930. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just, that's the level of inflation we were at. The entire country had to share 1,000 pounds. <laughs> it just reminds me of, uh, what is it? I think it was an Austin Power. Yeah, it was an Austin Powers joke where there's like time travel and shit. And they, and uh, I think Mr. Evil asks for an amount of money that like the entire country didn't have yet. Oh yeah, no, he's, he's asking. <laughs> so it's funny because that, that one actually ages really funny because he asks for a billion. They say that's too much. And then he goes down and he says like a certain number of millions. And they're like, Oh, then he goes like way too low and they're like a little bit higher. So he asks for like one million dollars, which is nothing. Yeah. It'd be so one easy to give him a million dollars. dollars. But at first he asks for like a trillion or something and he has like a billion and they're like, no. Yeah. Because like the, the, definitely the joke of the first one was that like literally the entire country doesn't have that much money yet. Oh no. <laughs> oh. She's <laughs> alive? Yeah. Uh, who's she? Who the fuck is that? Is, is that the maid? Uh, maybe? They're probably gonna kill me. I don't think I can take them. The Daily Flamingo, 1930. Husband borrows yet another 30 pounds from the wife's bank account. So 60 and 30. Where's pen? There we go. Everything's black in this room. Why did I do this to myself? Uh, 365 minus 60 minus 30. Ta-da! I did it. Go! No, it's like the next one. I got this. <laughs> you finished the job off. <laughs> I, um... What do I do with that? It didn't give me the note, did it? Oh. 
Is that it? Is that the whole math? <laughs> like, I can't track it to a new article. What do I do with that? Okay, so I calculated this out. This famous couple has about 32,000 US dollars hmm. back in that time. But I must wonder, he, he borrowed, what, 50 pounds? 50 pounds. It was part of their all new weight loss program where you lose money to lose weight. Well, see, they, they call theirs like a, like in stones. They measure themselves in stones. So I'm yeah. like one and a half stones or something. I still hear people say stone and I'm like, okay, well, you don't get to complain about imperial units. So that's about six kilograms. Okay, so six kilograms to pounds is about 13 pounds. So a stone is about 13 pounds. That's creepy. This child staring me down at the end of the hall. Once again, they failed the... I, gu I guess this must be the right way to go. I'll be there soon. And when I get there, you better watch out. Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming for you. If you'd use your head, you'd have found it by now. You're such a simpleton. I mean, I don't know if I have all the clues yet. And also, my leg's, like, coming off. Yeah, so I'm a simpleton? You're just oh, a bitch. Fuck. No, she, she she juked me. She baited me. It's the wrong... I went the wrong way. I have to go all the way to the opposite hallway now. Because this is 13, so, not 26. So she, she just lured you. Well, yeah. you need... Oh, yeah, 26 is the one with the boxes. Yeah. Thanks a lot, bitch. That's where 26 is on the other side. What? It's the other girl now. Oh, that's very confusing. <laughs> I sit up here so that I'm taller than you for a moment. Oops. Jennifer. Getting kind of sick of your bullshit, Jennifer. <laughs> ah! I didn't do that. Camera stop. Any day now. Jennifer, why don't you just use that pipe as a walking stick? They'll probably really help you. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. <laughs> This problem kind of solves itself. See if we got the little handle on the end. Yeah. Might be slick with blood by now, but I don't know. Is that, are any things you're hitting real? See, I, like I, I don't think I don't know if they'll ever answer that for us. Are these just kids that are like below the beggars? Are they, are they below Amanda? <laughs> They're the rabble. You're about to get your, you're about to get aroused. <laughs> rabble roused. All right. So it's a bit, but, uh, 365 minus 60 is 305 minus 30 is 275. But I have no in I have no real information indicating that I'm out of articles. I'm just hoping I am because it doesn't. I can't track it to a new one. So far, you've been like putting notes together. Okay, there we go. So far, you like put together ripped like, up notes like, and like then one you, document. And then you, yeah. yeah, and then you know when it's over. This one was just like, here's more story. He borrowed yet another another 30. I'm like, okay. We might this might be the last box because we're at the end of the space that it's the boxes really can. And yeah, that one's gonna say alone on alone. it. Alone. Oh. What is that? For a second there I thought it was a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> that is a bird. Her hands are empty now. But they're not empty. Me, I think that was just a fuck up. Oops, <laughs> in a peer in her cutscene? Maybe? Weird. Jeez Louise. She doesn't give a fuck. That was good restraint, Roscoe, not just like chomping it right out of her hand and eating it. <laughs> I think a bird, a uh, dog would be very uh, happy to do so. That rat can go right up those stairs. It just vanished. That rat's gonna be the next sacrifice. Yeah, they need a new one for the stick. This is a cool cutscene. No, I like this. It, it makes you feel like, you, you know, you are entrapped, so... Adds a layer of anxiety right on there for you. I was that baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Was it really necessary to put it in the cage, to carry it up there, and then take it out of the cage again? Did you want to carry it the whole time with your hands? Well, she was pretty cool with doing that, like just picking it up by the tail, you know? See, I feel the same way they do about it, like, oh. Mm-hmm. Well, she got in. Why are we still in the in the cage, though? You just took our credit. Did she, or did it, was it one bird for us all? Nope. She took our credit. <laughs> and in the darkness, bind us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, so we have to sleep in the in the that why don't you sleep on the couch, Jennifer? How did you get here? <sighs> I think the dog always sleeps next to us. <laughs> no <laughs> Health in this game is a <laughs> was a nightmare. Why are you like this? Oop. A slip of paper is beneath the clothing. A clothing. The moral. Everlasting happiness. Is it though? <laughs> is it though? <laughs> How is it? <laughs> oh, is this the missing page of that story? That's the moral of the story, guys. How does that make... What? Wow, we found the moral. Once a girl found a big box. The, girl, the bird of happiness was inside. The girl would take her to the forgotten, uh, to Foreverland, or so she hoped. Each box was smaller than the last. In a cramped, dark space, she finally found her little bird. But it was far too little and far too late. The bird was long dead. It met a bloody fate. The end. The moral. Everlasting happiness is, is a, a joke. joke. Oh, we live in a society. That's the moral. Get dunked on, child. And that society's really shitty. <laughs> That's the moral. <laughs> the unlucky girl remembered a promise she made, so she wrote it on the chalkboard. So she'd never forget it ever again. What? What, the happiness is a joke? Everlasting. You didn't finish it. Do I need to put together the three pieces? I think so. Via the three. Okay, it's a new chapter. Maybe I'll heal now. Please. Please heal me. Well, it's supposed to be like a different month, so you better heal you. It's torture that you fucking... We're back in October again, though. So we're back where we were at the end before we chose? I, or I, guess, I guess we're in the room where like we're choosing October's again. in the future. So yeah, so we're back where we're choosing again, which is why we're in October, because that's where that like, happened. Choose your flashback. Good morning, Jennifer. Do you remember anything new? Hmm. I see. You remember one of them. But that's still not good enough. You're such a silly girl. Hurry, hurry! Read the story, Jennifer! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, G. Come back. We miss you. Kaiji? His name's not Kaiji. Was his name Kaiji? No. What was his name? Fuck. It wasn't Kaiji. That's Kaiji Ultimate Survivor. That's the anime I like. Oh, that no. That my icon's wasn't based it the, off Wasn't of. it the same name as the guy from Evangelion? His name. Shinji? Oh, Shinji. Shinji. Yeah, yeah okay. it was an anime there name. You're go. right. I was like, it's the same. It is some protagonist name. <laughs> Jennifer found Mermaid Princess. This is going to be a Fiji mermaid? It's going to be a Fiji mermaid. I hope it's a Fiji mermaid. I want to read it. I'm going to read this one. I like this picture. <laughs> a long, long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. Yes. The Mermaid Princess fell in love with a human prince. Oh, dude, this, this, this real story is really fucked. If you ever, like the real Little Mermaid story, it, maybe it's that. You mean the real, you mean the first one? The, the, the one it's based off of. The actual, yeah. like, I was like, there's story. no... I'm like, mermaids aren't real, Stephanie. <laughs> Don't tell me that, Keith. Don't make me cry. Mermaids are... Oh, I don't really care about them. I don't care. <laughs> but for years, your love went unrequited. Before long, she was old and decrepit. All alone, even on the day of her death. The poor, poor princess of the Sea Kingdom. Who'd ever want to become an ugly woman like her? Gotta find, yeah, go, go, go find that moral. I wonder what it could be. The mor the moral of of ugly. You're ugly, dummy. 
The moral is no one likes ugly people. No matter how great of a person you are, you can't redeem yourself if you got a bad face. So one day we'll all get old and we'll all have bad faces and no one will ever love us. And that's so the you had a bad face. <laughs> you got a bad frown. <laughs> you got a bad chin. I'm gonna put you down. You sing a bad song that ends in a frown. That song's overplayed. The lines are cliche. August 1930, Mermaid Princess. They're Mermaid all hanging princess. by hooks. The hooks. You, you, the hooks. It's like you said, the fish hooked her. <laughs> <laughs> they, they did earlier. When the unlucky girl closed the storybook, the strong-willed princess was there in the room. Oh, she's a redhead. And said <gasps> sourly. She was already a redhead. I know, but mermaid. Oh. Rats. The fish is gone. Miss Hoffman will be furious. You should be looking for your own precious thing. Mm. She's the mermaid one. Wait, the fish are missing? That's fucking weird. There's nothing inside. That shouldn't happen. <laughs> you have a fish tank. They don't go missing, usually. Wasn't there just no fish to begin with in no, there? No, there wasn't. They've always been missing. All year long. So, okay, here's what I think, right? So, those, those bratty little girls in that last chapter... To fuck with you, put the bird that you were looking for in the box, right? And put it in, in the boxes and give you traps to make it hard for you. Because the bird was very much alive at the beginning of that chapter. But because you took so long, the bird died. Fundamentally, it is their fault for putting it in the box. But they all blame you for the bird being dead. Which is why they're all calling you like a bad girl. So I think in each one of these three chapters, something is going to die that they blame you for. And so they're punishing you for these things that they think are your fault. But in reality, they aren't actually your fault. It's just they're just being malicious children. But also fuck them. Because they yeah, because they <laughs> definitely put the bird. The bird I think was alive. They put it in the box, and you fucked up trying to get it. And so that little girl carrying the dead bird to the within the cage. I got a shortbread. Was oh there you go. That you don't even need that later. It's probably just really sad because she, that bird. Was, I don't think she wanted that bird to be dead necessarily. She had to go plop it in the box. I think a bird can callously. survive in a box for an hour. No, definitely not. You don't think so? No, no. I can promise. I actually think that's very true. They run out of air that fast. They do. But it's an itty bitty bird. Birds are really sensitive with... I know they're really sensitive with air quality. They're also, like I said, their metabolism is like, like really fast. <laughs> so they can't go very long without food. They really can't go very long without food. It's in the same way that rabbits are really sensitive to heat. Birds are really sensitive to certain things. I, I, and in, in fact, in fact, you can't use air horns around birds because they'll have heart attacks and die. You can't use Febreze around birds because it'll kill them. It says on the back of a Febreze bottle, if you mm -hmm. ever look at it, to not use it around birds. As weird as that is, it is there. Like, you wouldn't think about that, but it's there. Birds are fucking sensitive. So Bird Box was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Busted. Netflix's hit. No way. There's no such thing. This month's gift. An un... No, there's no such thing as an unmarried mermaid. Yeah. You think they're born married, child? Well, I think she means mermaids. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> We've been over this, Stephanie. <laughs> Don't tell me they're not real, Keith. Yeah. I feel like I've played multiple games now, though, where I'm like, suddenly mermaids are introduced as a concept. You're like, oh, that one character's a redhead. Got it. <laughs> Solved it. And then I'm right. It's that, It's usually that simple. An unmarried mermaid. No, see, in, in the original story, she she falls in love with the prince like it, like the same thing. She does trade her voice. She just trade some. I think it is her voice still for, like a, for legs. Like her walking around feels like she's walking on glass or something. And then she... Dives into the ocean and turns into sea foam. Well, no, what happens is he doesn't love her back because he's actually just an, a frivolous asshole who doesn't think she's pretty or anything. He doesn't even care about her because she's poor and not, she doesn't, he just doesn't like her. And, and then because of like the, the way it worked out was if, if she didn't succeed, she would die and turn to sea foam. And that's exactly what just happens. Hmm. Because he just didn't love her back because he's like, I would never love you. You're like a poor beggar, basically. Like, you show up on shore with like raggedy clothes and I'm like some prince guy and I can't love you and that's exactly what happens. The cold princess and the wise looking princess were talking. The unlucky girl quietly listened in. Diana 
Diana was quite upset. Don't you think that was too much? We had to do it. Besides, there's no such thing as mermaids. Don't you agree, Meg? You're right. That was the only thing we could do. No. -uh. Then you got the intentional deconstruction in the form of uh, thirsty mermaids, where they just they 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 do a dumb spell to get legs because they just want to go on a bender, and it's hard to have alcohol underwater. <laughs> that does make sense. <laughs> Then, the wise-looking princess asked. How about you, Jennifer? Do you believe in mermaids? The cold princess said. They're such beautiful and pure creatures. You're looking for a mermaid, too, aren't you? Then you better hurry. Diana might find it before you. My hands are in a pipe pose, but without the pipe during these cutscenes. That is true. Oh yeah, that is true. Yeah. You're just like scared all the time. Like you're holding your hands near your face like you're ready to gasp about something. I'm ready to brain a motherfucker. <laughs> 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 oh my god, Jen, we're just picking things up. <laughs> it's so hard. Why is this so hard? We found a fish, fish scale. scale. It's a fish scale. Shiny and blue. Dude, you're gonna find a bunch of dead fish later. Is because yep. somebody was like trying to get mermaids and they pulled all the fish out of the fish tank and left them around like as children do. You remember in a, I always remember. It's like one of my favorite parts of Kill Bill, too. Or yes, I just count Kill Bill as one movie, I guess. But yeah. when uh when Bill's talking to his daughter, and he's like talking about like what happened to your fish Emilio, and she's like it fell out of the tank, and he's like and then what happened to Emilio? He's like I stepped on it. <laughs> and, and, and he's like, and then what happened to Emilio? He's like, it, st it stopped moving. And he's like, he looks at Uma Thurman. He's like, it's so simple, like to a child, like something is alive and it's moving, and then it's not, and that's what death is. It's something like that. They have like a whole like conversation about it. But I always remember that her fish's name was Emilio, and then she like, <laughs> it, it flipped out of the tank. She got scared. And she stomped on it, and then the fish died. That's how she learned about death. Emilio. We used to have a fish that would scare the shit out of us by just jumping out of the tank. We had one of those was, too. She's like, Jesus Christ. Well, and then, and then you know, your brother had a fish here that would leap out That's of the tank. That's the one I was talking about. Oh, I thought you meant <laughs> no. like as a kid. No. I, uh, I don't remember fish growing up. He had an arowana, which is honestly like... That's kind of Advanced hard. mode That's, fish. Yeah, I was gonna say that. I was like, I'm surprised it didn't jump out sooner. But no, he just scooped it back up and put it in there. We had to give it away to someone who had a bigger area. This place area. is scary. Is this just in the open air? Under the... Yeah, under the balloon. That's what this kind of place is. You know, they really don't do a good job of conveying... Oh, that's creepy over there. It's just in a void. Like, you don't feel... There's another old man to beat. Come on, let's go. I don't... These are... I don't like... What, what role do these adults play in any of this? Uh, not... Good job. Once. They're all like just administrative, <laughs> but like have no whatever involvement. Whatever they do, they don't fucking pay any attention to what's happening around here. Or the fact there's no guardrails on that hall. Yeah, they don't do a good job of conveying to you whether or not you're outside because there's no like wind or like wind sounds or like. Play bottom of the sea. Thanks, two dimensional piece of rope. We from all live in a yellow airship of the sea. Yeah, it's completely 2D. You see that? Yeah, <laughs> and like, yeah, you, it, it's, the words are backwards on the other side. Yeah, that, that, that's never happened, I don't think. That's weird. They ran out of budget just for that one weird Maybe they forgot out. about it and they had to add it in like last minute. Like, oh fuck, we forgot, <laughs> we forgot this important clue. Dog stuck. Oh no, dog Roscoe stuck. Roscoe and stairs again. <laughs> the what? lower vertical tail? What does that even mean? It's the tail of the fish. It is a like fish, remember? Like I'm inside remember? the fin? I think so. Ooh. A knife. A meat <laughs> Oh. All right, then. But I like having range. Give well, me a, give have... me a, when do I get, like, a spear? It doesn't really give you stats on these options. Yeah, and I usually don't know whether or not something's actually good. It's a fish's head that's been chopped off its body. Thanks, Jennifer. <laughs> Fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish heads. <laughs> I took a fish head out to see a movie. I didn't have to pay to get it in. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? 
That's a great song. <laughs> they don't play, like they don't, oh wait, they, they, they don't, uh, <laughs> what the fuck, the lyrics are so good on that song. It's like they don't play drums. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Stupid fish doesn't even play drums. How are you gonna go to college? It, like, is I gotta look it up because it says something really funny about like how they don't drive cars and stuff. But there's a million different versions of that song, um, and it is. Um, I think no, is I'm it. I'm just thinking like she drank paste or whatever that song was. <laughs> you're thinking no. You're thinking of. Uh, <laughs> You're thinking of uh, um, Vaseline by the Flaming Lips. <laughs> is it Vaseline or is it Tangerines or is it? I just I, the, I forget what which what, what it's. Oh no, she don't eat, she don't use jelly. Is what the song's called. She don't use jelly. She don't use cream. She don't use butter or any of these. She uses Vaseline on her toast because it's gross. Fish has got to be this way. I just know it. Is it because the dog just went? Oh, what? Fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh goodness. Fishy, 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 fishy. They're just around now? They're just drifting about in their bones. It's kind of like, uh, that reminds me of like Studio Ghibli in their like Ponyo movie, except a lot more morbid. I still haven't seen Ponyo. Ponyo, Ponyo. Do, 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 do. I wonder if I would like it. I didn't like Totoro. But I do like well, I mean, Totoro is honestly depressing. Ponyo is more lighthearted. It's just. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I just spent so long waiting for stuff to happen. <laughs> well, it's a... Like, it's a metaphor for grief. I'm like, cool. Is there anything going to happen in this movie? It's like, it's a long time for nothing to happen. Doll? Oh, you're going to have to make one. No, wait, no, wait, no. Doll egg. Oh, no, they put it I'm gonna, together. I'm going to make a reverse, a uh, reverse, it's the, what, is it the one you called it? Is that what it was? The reverse mermaid? Is that, uh, it's a... Because you said you called it something. Is that a reverse mermaid or is that something else? Well, no, I have this. I have the sculpture of the painting by Magritte that's called, it is of a reverse mermaid, but I forget what the painting itself is called. But I have a little like desktop sculpture. Did you say of, like a Phyllis mermaid or something? Um, there is a name. What was the thing you said? There is a name for it. Like, but let me see if I can find that too. I'm like looking everything well, what, what up did today. You, say, what was, you were like, I hope it's this kind of mermaid. What was that word you said? Oh, a Fiji mermaid. No, Fiji mermaid is the fake one that they, oh. Look, Oh. Oh my god, there's so many, and they're, they're offensive tribesmen. They're in a school. <laughs> they're in a oh, school. Oh, of I them. thought they were wearing oval masks. No, it's just that's just fish heads, isn't it? Oh, it's just fish heads. They just got a glub glub but, fish head. But see they're in they're in a school. Like they're all yeah. like they're all like hanging out together, <laughs> flapping around. Stay in school, kids. But, Sorry that you're being literally eviscerated, uh Roscoe. Roscoe, but you should need to, you need to just run. You gotta learn when to when to call it. No oh, when to fold. <laughs> Exactly. But, uh, no, the Fiji mermaid is that one that people uh -oh. try to fool everyone with, and it was just a mummified monkey that uh -oh. was, like, sewn to a mummified fish bottom, and they just, they brought it around in circuses and showed it. It was very famous. Just another fake archaeology thing? Yeah, exactly. There's so many! But the paint, the... The painting I'm referring to is the collective invention, and that's Oh my that's god, the they flop around on the ground! Ew! <laughs> I hate it! Oh man, you know... When people go on those Alaska, like on those fishing boats, this is how they do it. They <laughs> lay them all over the floor, and you just have to stomp them down. Oh yeah, I've seen that where somebody catches a fish and then they just stomp on its head. But yeah. imagine like a whole like net of those pouring across the top of the boat, and people just and taking a bat just, and smashing them <laughs> like, all. Like you're making wine. It's crushing grapes. Kinda, yeah. The grapes are the eyeballs. <laughs> When you look back on that memory, it's with the fisheye lens. Oh my goodness. I hope I don't look at any memory with a fisheye lens. It's horrifying. <laughs> Nauseating. It is a little bit, isn't it? God, there's so many. What the fuck? This is macabre and weird. Ow! Well, stop. This is macabre and weird? <laughs> stop flailing! <laughs> and stop beating my dog that seems to be invincible, maybe. <laughs> is he, and you know, maybe the dog, maybe you should just let the dog handle stuff, because maybe the dog never dies. I don't, know, I don't know if he ever attacks. I don't know if you want to risk that, I don't though. know if he actually attacks. For all I know, the ending, and rightfully so, that you get is based on how much damage your dog took over the course of the game. <laughs> You're ranking. Yeah. It's one of the weird things about the Silent Hill games is that they, they all have, like, multiple endings, but they change the rules every game on how you actually get the different endings. I think that's great. So you don't even get, you don't get to go into the previous game's expectations. 
Stop hurting my dog. Fish. <laughs> so. Normal problems to have. Fish fish heads can't play baseball. They don't wear sweaters. They're not good dancers. It. And they Count. don't play drums. In case you didn't know. Uh oh. Oh, oh, this is the first time you died. Jesus Christ, that's just a fucking nightmare encounter to fight through. <laughs> little princess, little princess, precious little princess, the little girl with... It was as beautiful as a princess, but she was always all alone. The girl found her grave. Today is the day of her funeral, and everyone lived happily ever after. <laughs> that's some brutal... That's fucked. <laughs> that's some brutal handwriting to read, have to read quickly. That be the beautiful line is a nightmare to read. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty good. Well, see you next time. <laughs> I gotta get Broly, back to that Broly place. fish heads. Fuck me. Fish heads, fish heads. Oh, no. Beat them up, yum. Where was this? The <laughs> beginning of the chapter? Uh-oh. What a pain in the ass. Yeah, I think so. Jesus. That was so much fight to get through. I never even saw her look like she was, like, hurt. She just suddenly was dead. Well... See you next time. <laughs> Top. Top. Top.